Okay, in this video, um, we're going to look at how we can put a logo uh, in the middle of the page, centered, with na uh, navigation links on the left and the right, and then also have it responsive so it collapses to a mobile toggle menu and also having the logo on the left. So it's pretty straightforward. Um, we're going to do that with some actual, um, some just actually probably just two two custom classes and then a couple of um, boot, uh, bootstrap flex classes so i'm going to just going to convert uh, the logo from text to an image <clears throat> and then i'm going to select the menu item and i'm going to change the data source to none and then i'm going to drill down on this and select the list item and i'm going to duplicate that seven times Okay, select the middle one, and then I want to delete the link, not the list item. I want to make sure I delete that link. And in an empty space that appears, we're going to add an image brick. There we go. And in that image brick, I'm just going to select our logo. So now uh, Bricks does this funny thing, now that we've done that, where uh, it has put the image inside another list item. So we actually want to fix that. I'm just going to drag that image out of that other list item and then delete it because we don't need that. So a couple of things we want to do now is we want to be able to center this entire menu. Uh, then we want to properly space out everything horizontally and vertically. So we want our, our nav items in line central to our logo. And this is going to be pretty straightforward. So the first thing we're going to do is actually um, select our list um, menu. It's in the design mode on the canvas, it says menu here, but it's actually the UL item. That's what it will render out when we export it. And on this one, we're going to add up, a, we're going to make a class, and we're just going to call it menu. And on that class, um, I'm just going to, in my case, I'm just going to add a, a width of 80% and then the left and the right margin I'm going to select um, set that to auto and so the margin you can actually just type a and it will um, auto margin those left and rights and centralized it okay so now the the menu brick itself is centered what we want to do is affect the content on the inside and we can do that with a couple of bootstrap flex classes that are part of bootstrap really easy so if we go to the um, bootstrap website which is called getbootstrap.com and you select documentation and select utilities and you'll find flex on the left hand side there's a couple of classes we want to add to our class manager so if you scroll down to um, one called justify content there's two you could use here depending on the look you're going for you could go to for this one here which is justify content center in my case, I'm going to use this bottom one, which is justify content around. And you can copy the classes from here to paste into the class manager. So there's two classes we need for flex. We need D hyphen flex and then this one. So I'm just going to copy this one. And in our class manager, I'm going to add um, D flex. You can add these directly into the classes box over there. Justify content around. And there's one other class that I want to get, which will uh, pull these um, links and make them in the middle. It will centralize them in line. And that is align items. And we want the one that's going to center them. And if we come down here, we can see it's align items center. So we want to add that class also. And delete that because I just screwed that up we'll try that again uh, it's got a space there okay right so we've got the three uh, bootstrap classes we need deflex justify content around justify items center that's all we need so um, making sure that we're in the list item where we put that menu class we're now going to have uh, put deflex And then we're going to add the justify content around 
which will push everything centralized. And then we want that vertical center, um, which was a line item center. And now we've got everything spaced out as we want. If we go preview that, we've got our menus, we've got our logo. We're gonna deal with this other logo in just a moment. Uh, so we've got two things to fix. This logo here, and on the toggle breakpoints is that we don't actually want our logo to appear in our list items on the mobile menus. Okay, <clears throat> so the way we're gonna deal with that is our icon over here. We're gonna turn off on the breakpoints where there is no toggle. So in this case, it's the, the two larger breakpoints. Preview that. No longer there for those two breakpoints. And it should appear on our smaller breakpoints. But we've still got this logo in the middle of our nav items. So if we select that um, logo in the middle, and then make sure that we're, we're selecting the list item that wraps that image, we're going to give it a new class. So we're just going to call that maybe um, logo center. open that class up and then down the bottom here in the position section we've got a display option what we're going to do is set this to none on the smaller breakpoints where the menu mobile menu happens so that's the um, smaller breakpoint display none and it should automatically inherit on the extra small one so display none display none and then we want display default for these two larger ones Right, so if we view this now, we've got our menu in the middle with our menu items on our larger breakpoints. And then on our smaller ones, we get our logo and our drop down menu looking as it should. And that's how easy that is to make. And then you can just tweak it to however your design requires. All right, have fun.